So just a quick rundown on both of the decks. Uh, Paolo running Orza of Lurus uh, with the Auras. And Caps running on Naya Winota, which pulled off a crazy miracle back in his uh, previous match with Chris. Alright, so both players starting off really fast. I think that's a Lanware Elf or El Elvish Mystic right there. Okay, let me just pull up our decks. There you go. So on Paolo's side, okay. he's already starting off with the Hateful Eidolon into the Cartouche. And an Alcide. Attacks for 2. Gains 2 life. Back to 20. Faps does not care for his life total. Because he just needs to get that explosive turn. So his best turn right now should be a Legion War boss. Does he have it? Nope. I believe that's a tight taker. He can block it though. Which is a good thing. Yep, passes the turn. This should be a very, very exciting match. Uh, both aggro decks. One is a very combo sent slowly. Well, not slow, but like stacking up the damage on one creature with the enchantments. Ethereal armor. Uh, on the battlefield. And he basically has four enchantments on the field so that's a 4-4 four, four, uh, additional for the hateful eidolon's body so i think he wants to block the eidolon there you go with the tie taker because that's gonna make a white spirit all right six one gains four five six a <laughs> bond <laughs> guys if you're watching right now please do like and share 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 um can anyone share this to the tambayan chat uh, group <laughs> uh we uh i think they would love to see some pioneer action as well once again this is on the draw uh going for his winota right here <laughs> Here we go. Gets one trigger off the white spirit. Uh, not really scary though, as a creature on the board. All right. Pia. I think that's Pia and Kiran Alar. Within Winoda right now. Uh, so what Winoda did was that when she's on the battlefield, if you attack with a non-human creature, uh, Winoda's ability triggers where the... <laughs> so Paolo just realizing that uh, Pia and Kiran is indestructible as it enters the battlefield and attacking. <laughs> so um, he's about to rethink his... Oh, he didn't hate died. <laughs> okay. So apparently he blocked with the serp song for the serpent. But he's going in. Uh played a concealed courtyard. Oh sorry, sorry. Yes, thank you for the reminders, RJ. Fixed it, fixed it. Uh looks like the idol is going in. Cops going down to seven. Uh, it should be gaining life. Yep, goes up to 32, passes the turn. It's all or nothing for Gap. He has one, two, three, four triggers. So, oh, that's a Legion War boss. So, that's an additional trigger as well. That's pretty good here to end the game. Legion War boss. There you go. That's an extra trigger. <laughs> oh my god so that's six triggers <laughs> oh 
Oh, surprisingly, he did not attack with the Winota. Because uh, it, it, it didn't matter at this point. He doesn't have blockers. Max, uh, Cap should have maximized the damage right there. That's the first trigger. Tight taker. Off to a very iffy start. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's the Marauder. <laughs> okay, so I think I didn't bring this up the other match during um, Caps playing with Chris. There's the Hactos. <laughs> so that's the third trigger. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, looks like Paulo is in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have. He has only one blocker, and I don't think that's enough <laughs> because uh, with Angus Marauder, it just doubles the damage for all of his permanents. Oh, and a whip! Wow, what a. But he, I think he has another trigger. All right. <laughs> Avenge me, cats. <laughs> What's up, Chrissy? <laughs> ah, the second Marauder! <laughs> so, the thing with... Mustaksha! Mustaksha! So, it doubles twice! It doubles twice! Yes, so it's times four! <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he whiffed and then he got a second Marauder. <laughs> Hi, Clara. Thank you for the like removals, like Knight of Bottom. Or even like a Reclamation Sage. Oh my god. And there's the Thoughtsies. And yep, that's a Winota right there and a Knight of Bottom. So this is a very interesting Thoughtsies right now because he could opt to choose the. And he takes the elf. All right. Goes down to 16. Passes the turn. Oh, Napon si Kwan. Si Angel gatanaw sa stream sa likod. <laughs> oh, but that was a tap land. Okay. Sun Petal Grove. And Sram on Paulo's second turn. Uh, gives him a lot of. A lot of advantage, card advantage. Uh, tap your land stops. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Cartouche draws the card. So what Paulo needs is another Thoughtsies or a Brain Maggot right here. Uh, takes one. Ethereal Armor. So he's drawn two cards off of it. It makes a uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five damage. Make it six and seven. Woo! <laughs> Looking very spicy. <laughs> two she on the floor. <laughs> Since he's on the draw. Gets the cliff top retreat. Ooh, all right. Night of Autumn. Like what RJ said. I think he's about to destroy the ethereal armor. He's deciding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> right now, he already drew his third land. So. Yep, blows up the ethereal armor. So the SRAM is going to look very small right now. And I believe it's about to pass the turn. Um, he can't attack. All right. But if Paolo can find a way to kill him this turn, that would be very impressive. Uh, All right, two mana. Brain Maggot! And there's the Winota. 
Exile, exile, exile. Yep, it goes under Winoda. Ooh, that's a very good catch. Again, the brain maggots. Just doing a lot of work for Paolo right now. And there's Shinji just being annoying again. <laughs> Wow, takes it. Goes down to seven, draws a card for caps. Sir Raven Duran, thank you so much for the like. Hope you are enjoying our featured match right now. <laughs> he drew the fourth land. Oh my god. <laughs> Legion War Boss. Alright. Anyway, like Caps can just draw his second Winota. Master Nick, thank you so much for the like. Right, loses the goblin. Uh, Cups can actually block the uh, the SRAM. Facebook page, uh, he streams Tekken and a couple of um, random games, uh, party games mostly. Sometimes even solo. Uh, but he he competes Tekken. He he's like <laughs> um, one of the best here in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, champion put siya diri sa top deck ah uh, na ay gadula diri master na uh, nasila kaloy we're about to do our uh, podcast later after this after this match alright so I believe we block this ram uh, puts the lotus into hand he blocked the ram with the voice of resurgence he can still draw his winota All right. All right. Gets in the Kenrit. Caps uh, thinking how to approach this. Uh, Sram is right now a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, the elemental left by the voice is also a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to turn into a 5-5 five, five, uh, with the goblin. So he can opt to still uh, pressure Paolo's life total. Yep, there you go. Attacks with both the elemental and the goblin. Goblin is forced to attack though. But Kendrin, Kendrith is still. Uh... Ooh, alright. So uses Karametra's blessing, blocking the elemental to kill it off takes one so there goes the big threat from Capsa side uh, still has Kenrith on the field though so Paolo has another win basically block the elemental then before damage he casted Karmeta's blessing to give it indestructible and plus two plus two there's the Lurus uh, and then cast the ethereal armor Yep, draws a card. Yeah, he definitely needs that grip spoon. And that's a very big brain maggot right there. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's four, I believe. So Luros, a very powerful uh, companion card. Being able to recur most of his cards. Another ethereal armor. <laughs> so that's a 11 11 brain maggot. Oh no! He just puts it. Oh, okay, so he's he's di he's dividing the power uh, on his on his board right now, putting it on the the soldier. So that's a six six and a seven seven right there, a six six soldier and a seven seven brain maggot. Oh no! It's also a six six because it's one one I believe. All right, going in. 
Uh, Couch is forced to block. He is definitely forced to block. Yep, yep, yep. This is a very crucial turn for Caps. He can take four. Ah, uh, there you go. Come on. Ni teleport ang Karametra's blessing. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, he, he used the blessing. Basically, wow, oh, there you go. Oh, and a sacred boundary to start. Oh, also, Godless Shrine taps uh, for Paolo. So, both um, very slow start. Uh, and a voice of resurgence for taps. Sram for Paolo. Alright, Legion War Boss goes in for one or blocks it. Oh my god, he drew his second Marauder. That's very painful to watch. Looks like Caps might be tested here. But Paolo doesn't know that. I think he might go for a Thoughtseize right here or a Brain Maggot. Yep, there's the Brain Maggots. That's a Clothis. Wow, you didn't bring it. Oh, and he has an Eldritch Evolution. That would have been very scary. Yep, we definitely saw that. <laughs> so Eldritch Evolution was the other way to find the Nodoa, which makes the deck very, very consistent compared to the to its historic uh, variant. Because in historic, they don't have this card from Eldritch Moon. Which is a which should be able to search for his Winoda uh, just by sacrificing a two drop. So a very another timely brain maggot from Paolo. But he's definitely behind on the board as that Legion War boss is going to be very scary. Uh, making a bunch of two two goblins every turn. So he definitely might need to take the Eldritch. But that Clotus is actually a, a a really good threat because if he comes off the board, then Clotus uh, becomes enabled. Uh, Exile, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Just reminding the boys on what the card does. All right, I think it's about to pass the past. Turn. All right, place the Godless Shrine. Taps. Meaning. Oh no, he leaves it untapped? All right, leave it tap. He's thinking about it. <laughs> Ooh, phase two gets the Hateful Eidolon on the field. Looks like he just wants to uh, put a lot of enchantments. Nope. Makes a goblin, goes into combat, goes in, uh, takes out the Legion War Boss with Shram, uh, goes down to 12, a cave of Koilos into another Shram. Okay, <laughs> that's why he was very confident. Sentinel's eyes looks like he's going to turn things around. Uh, the, if that hateful Eidolon is going to be big, then he's going to bring back a lot of his life. But Caps only needs one more. He needs one more land. <laughs> so. 
what is he going to play? Another enchantment. So that's double Sentinel's Eyes. Draws two cards. So that's basically a uh, 3-4? Three four vigilance. All right, goes for three, gains three back, passes a turn. Oh my god, he just needs one land. It's so scary. And there's no land on on the graveyard, so he cannot. So he's going to exile, drains him for two, passes the turn. I think that's an enchantment, not a Foxy, so Taps is still safe. <laughs> oh, dead weight! Alright, that's actually very crucial. So he draws a card. Yep, he draws a card from Swam and he draws a card from the Hateful Eidolon. Wow. <laughs> he actually brought in dead weight. Which is very, uh, it's a very good card. Oh no, Ethereal Armor. First strike and one, two, three, four, five. That's five power added to the Eidolon. Uh, yikes. Woo! Looks like Paolo is about to turn things around. Alright. And a protection as well with the Alcide. <laughs> that's a very big, very big eight hateful idol on right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Going in for nine. Blocks it with the Voice of Resurgence gains 9 goes up to 22 does he get the land? Ooh. that was Eldritch Evolution Lothis Trigger exiles the Dead weights goes up to 21, loses 20 for oh, another voice of resurgence just to buy a turn. Wow, it just passes the turn. It's a very, very dangerous turn for Paolo right now. He needs to close this game as fast as possible. Another Alcide. All right. It's going all in. Oh my god. If that was a land, that would have been like... That would have been on another situation. Cops uh, blocks it with the goblin. Goes down to 11. Paolo up to 30. Uh, puts Loris into his hand. Passes the turn. <laughs> Gets the fourth land. Finally. <laughs> uh, Cloth is trigger. Got it. Yep. There's the Winota, finds the fourth land. Looks at the top six. <laughs> no more water. <laughs> <laughs> so it's three, three times two, that's six. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it only deals 8, so it's not going to die.
32. <laughs> right now. 1, 2, 3. Gothis is still not online yet. Brain maggots. <laughs> okay, he's going to take the evolution. Marauder left in his hand. Trying to confirm whether the cloth is could be used uh, as a cost for the Eldritch Evolution. Only if cloth is online as a creature. Otherwise, it's just an enchantment. Goes. Up to 45. Takes 3. Uh, he's going to cast Ram, I believe. Yep, that's Ram. Lurus is still in his hand. Can he cast it? Yeah, he can. He can. He pulls out the hot toss. <laughs> nope. That's a two. Uh, two, two, two. I saw two. So that buys him a turn, actually. Yep. So only a brain maggot can actually block it. <laughs> uh, tries to remember the trigger from the Clothis. One, two, three, four. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yes, I believe it's online now. A seven day? What does it say? Oh, it's seven. All right, so he lacks one. So it's not a creature yet. <laughs> so Paolo is still not out of this game. Draws a card. Let's see what he's got. So I'm seeing a concealed courtyard and a Lurus in his hand. I don't know what he drew though. Right. So he drew a land. Ah, but he can use it right now for. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, he can actually. Wait. What? Ang sa tong declared color? Matangtang ang kwan. Mga enchantments. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it removes. <laughs> it removes it. It cannot be enchanted by that color. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Tapo ko mas ba? Di ba? He can't, he can't. <laughs> Jesus! Okay, he cast the ethereal armor. I'll do that yourself. <laughs> Yes, um, I think Mabs can confirm that. He's he's on the stream, so <laughs> you can't target either. You have to use another target. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, yes, invalid target. So I have to use another one. So he cast it on the L seed. Ah, sakto lagi ko anton, di ba? Yeah, yeah. I was surprised. Like, oh my god, he declared white. I, I was hearing at the background, like... <laughs> Ooh, that was very bad. I could've just named Red. I could've just named Red. 
<laughs> Jan Lobes, welcome to the stream, old man. You're just in time. <laughs> that was a... Oh my god, I think Kats is still in the game right now. After that blowout <laughs> by himself. <laughs> Yo! I'll see to protect the brain maggot when he goes into blocks. Wow, takes four. All right. I think that's the better choice because he cannot afford to lose another creature at this point. <laughs> oh my god. What did you draw? Main face trigger. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Wow. That changes things. So what ha what happened right there was when uh cloth is drained for Ooh, blows up the brain maggot right there, the big brain maggot. So what happened there was that uh, when Clothis drained him, because it deals two damage. So since Marauder is on the field, it deals double. So it took four. And the Knight of Autumn to blow up the brain maggot. Yes. I think, yeah, and the Clothis is online right now. Uh, Haktos going in. He cannot, uh, the Brain Maggot and Sram are the only ones who can block it. Paolo, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. That's not the 25. That's 12 damage. <laughs> so this is definitely not over. Uh, 5-5 five, five na ang elemental. Okay, creature na si Clotis. <laughs> Wow. I I never thought Clotis would work like that. that and there's the Thoughtseize. Uh, that's the Eldritch and the Marauder. Takes out the Eldritch, of course. Uh, because you gotta search for the Winota. Uh, later, Papre. Uh, we'll have another game with Paolo, Doc Pao and ano, Andrew. Alright. Draws a card from the Sentinel's eyes. Uh, semi-finals, Manipre. This is the semi-finals. <laughs> Alright. Now, names the color red on the Lurus. Huh? Ah, escape Sha with the Sentinel's eyes. Okay, so he cast Alcid. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So that's... Oh! Paolo still takes it! <laughs> oh!